How's your experience been here in this Airbnb? Oh man, dude, like, we made this happen so quick, you know? It was just like, okay, we, we're, we're gonna do this. Found the fruit bunker and uh, yeah, kept, kept the family together and it's been just like mind boggling, amazing, connected, synchronistic, just like telepathic, everything, man, you know? Just right there creating so much love, so much music, so many beautiful vibrations. I mean, the fruit, no questions asked. Just amazing high quality fruit and that's it. Yeah, so like you live what about what about what about Jacob? Okay, you live Jacob and Benny? Yeah, man. Well, well, I, it's it's like I, I don't want, I don't want to have too many people here. And I'm feeling vegetarian for the win. Spin it, my friend. Vegetarian, fruitarian. Scary when I'm coming in for the win. This is me with the grin, and I feel in the wind as the chimes hit my blind eye. And I open up, so what you know about it, man? This is how we live. We just trying to show these kids how it can be when you. Shit always dandy, but you gotta rely on the family, the fruit one, or the fans be. We just new sons to this game, but we're already older gods. It's been the same since we maintained, but now we remembered on our brain. We're fruitarian, man. Why did we not do this from since we were kids? What was going on? How did we get by? How did we even live? Here we are, give in thanks for the Lord for giving us more and more and more and more abundance. So much fruit we can't run out That's why we're here from the north to the south From all over the world Yet we're connected in the NY city We see outside it's kinda gritty But we're like yo Never feeling shitty but the vibe is always high Cause we eat papaya and we feeling really fly And that's why the mango is just by my thigh And by my feet is the watermelon And on my head is another durian And I'm just doing this so if you want it hurry in and have some we're here to share, we're well aware The people are scared to live the ultimate potential So we do this shit on the instrumental Who would've knew that this little kid Would've flew this shit and kept it cool And really true, Sarah's in the back like you Guys, kill it so much I can't get enough, I just want another touch of your ride I'm just feeling so freaking fine Oh my god, on oh my mind It's just about to explode, let go So you better stop me cause I might not stop the flow Cause I just go Someone else jumping quick Check it out Check it out
Check, check it out, I'm so rude I'm that raw food dude with no pimples And you looking simple Jelly face with your jelly cakes I make no mistakes I am not a flake I am in the water feeling myself every day And that's okay, it's self love this way So keep a distance from me If you're not feeling energy Ha, I keep it fly No Wi-Fi, I'm in the woods again Like that, that, that mini would be perfect who? Who's coming? And um, Jacob, the pineapple freestyler guy. Uh-huh. Uh, Sam and Liv, and Benny. Oh. If, uh, well, yeah. if, 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 if y'all want to come over and hang out and chill and jam, um, that would be awesome. All right, cool. Well, just, 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 all right, just text me and let me know. Right. Bring the core. Right, cool. Oh, and bring the, bring the, Bring the, the Ted's charger thing. Okay, cool. I was nowhere but that one place. When we left, I felt like I was just entering a whole new dimension, or leaving leaving one. Leaving one, entering another. Yeah. Overall, what was your experience with Woodstock? Time of my life. It was the best thing that ever happened, period. <laughs> First year, right? Yep, that was it. That was it, that was lit. You gonna yeah. go back? Oh, 10 out of 10. Dude, next year I'm gonna make sure that we're composting. Like, no, no if ands, or buts about it. <laughs> right. I'm taking personal responsibility to make sure that we're composting all of that. Well, you're it's on gold, it's yeah. Like, thousands of people are gonna see that you're Yeah, no, it's gold. Like, that, like people will pay for that compost. Like, right. we're bringing like, nutrients from all over the world to New York. Like, the implications of that in nutrient, like, nutrients is just like. Totally. That's sick, man. Yeah, it's gonna be like like Jamaican papaya compost. There's gonna be African orange compost, like Costa Rican papaya or pineapple compost. Like, it's insane. You talked to another girl, another girl, another girl. I talked to a girl at the festival about composting, and she said she wants to. Was it Molly? Yeah. I know, I know that Mo Molly's on board. I have like Alex on board. There's so many. Everyone, like everyone wants it. It's just like someone has to take personal responsibility because it's a pain in the ass. Like. It's, right. it's like 90% of our waste isn't waste, it's compost. Right. So someone's got to do it, and I've done it in Austin. Like, I've Who worked at festivals. Whoever wants it. If well, someone wants it. find someone who wants it? Craigslist? Dude, there's so many farms in the area. I can't believe one of the farms that's delivering to Woodstock doesn't want it. Like, someone's got to have, like, a compost business where they're paying people for their scraps. And in this case, we just give it to them in exchange for maybe them paying for the, the semi to sit outside Woodstock. The thing is, they did it in the past at Woodstock, from what I heard, and the semi sat out there and it was leaking and it started smelling bad because yeah. no one was adding carbon to it. It was just nitrogen. It was just super acidic. So there's a, so there's a fix to it. Yeah, like you just add sawdust or you add wood chips on top, and then it stops smelling. It just like starts actually composting instead of you like like wasting all this food. Like it's fruit. Like it's gold. Like in the future, the like the currency is going to be like rare fruit tree genetics and compost. Those are like the two things, that, the only things that are going to matter is soil quality and genetics. Soil quality equates to food quality, food quality equates to mood quality, and food is mood, and 
And mood, better, mood, good life, right? Yep. You said it better than anyone ever ever did, Ted. Mumbled the shit of that one, bro. Which one are we going to? Are we going to? We're going to City Fresh, bro. Yeah. City Fresh. Where are you going now? I'm going to City Fresh Market. Oh, good To get some fruit. Why don't you just eat, like, cooked food, like the rest of the world? Because I feel really good on raw foods and my skin is perfectly clear. Yeah, your skin's gotten so much better. I know. Holy it's crap. amazing. I used to have acne like yeah, all... Yeah, like a week ago. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Like a week ago I had know. acne. Now you're a girl who doesn't have acne. No, I don't have any acne and I'm probably never going to get it ever again. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Get it in. <laughs> Let the fruity games begin. <laughs> yeah. This is where it all begins. Love, love, love. What are we doing here, bro? Spread what are we love. doing? We're getting fruits. We're stocking up for the fruit bunker. Yeah, Spreading man. love. Inspiring. <laughs> how did you guys find out City Fresh Market? Uh, how did we find out? We, we got the tip from the goddesses of the household. <laughs> oh, they went for a little stroll, right? Yeah. Walked the baby and they found this. Yeah. And it's had dang so fruit. So you go bro. undercover, dude. You just travel low. Yeah, yeah, it's had dang fruit, too. These guys, this is what I'm getting. Get another one of these. <laughs> Straight up, bro. Eat a whole one of myself. Yeah, that's a statue of health right there, bro. <laughs> Tomato. Yo. I say. It's not bad vibration. But I know Why, it's not uh, the highest vibration. Why do you go for raw food, dude? Why do you see cooked food? That's a that's a weird question, man. Why would I eat cooked food if I can eat raw food? Cook, people say cook fills you up. Oh, I don't think that's true. It could stuff you, maybe, but not really satisfy you. Whereas fruit and living food, raw food, satisfies you. And like, it's just so good every bite. But like, the thing is, you have to be at a certain level of cleanliness. When you're clean, like you can eat this tomato and enjoy it so much. But if you're coming from like a cooked food diet, you might be like, this tomato is kind of boring. I got to add some salt or eat it with something else. But when you're just like eating simple and your like system is clean, it just like feels so good because that simplicity, you get to enjoy every bite because that one taste is all you need. That's so good. You don't have to look for millions of tastes, millions of like spices and stuff. Just that one taste. And you're like, whoa, I can enjoy this taste until I'm satisfied as long as I want and it just like feels good and then after you just feel satisfied and you're going about your day and then you just poop that out in like one poop because it's just one thing that's all like working together through your system it's not all these complicated things that digest at different speeds it all just goes at one speed clear you feel basically your, your colon stays empty and you feel light all day it's gotta be right it's gotta be like gotta call your name. That's why I'm touching these and I'm like, I don't know, it's kind of hard. They look good from here, right? The red, you see the vibration. But as you come close, you gotta touch them and like, it's gotta be like so soft and nice and you just know it's juicy. When you have experience, you just know a certain level of softness, you know when you bite it, it's just gonna be juice. Drip, drip, drip. Drip. Cool. Drip. Thanks, man. You want birthday cake as a fruitarian? Halawi dates. They're so good. They're kind of dry. Bro, you need to get Stefan on your YouTube channel, bro. You'll be famous. <laughs> I need to be recording Ted recording me. <laughs> yummy. So yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it, it can be sweeter. But it's pretty good. Mm. You ordered those, right? Dang, that's so good. Those are Halawi? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Watermelon. What, 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 what? Walla, walla. Walla, walla. Walla, walla. Walla, walla. Walla, walla. Walla, walla. Walla, He's gonna finish off with the dates tonight. Oh yeah, but he's going into a well hydrated. <laughs> Hold on, Lynn. Send one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and oh, push wait. it all through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then coat it on top of the dish. Ready? I need to No. Yeah, man. No. We were doing them from like 30 meters, man. Yeah. 40 meters. Can they do it on the top of the... Get the goods, dude? Yeah, dude. They put all my stuff back. That's why I couldn't find it. So I hope I found the same avocado. What do you think about this one? Yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to see the people, be with the crew in like uh, more concentrated numbers, you know? Yeah. It'll be fun, it'll be fun. It's like so surreal, like walking from the big city, like into this nature. I can smell the difference, feel the difference. <sighs> yeah, man, it's good. It's good. We are seeking oh, truth. We are gonna find the grass and eat that last. Mick, you're up. How's it going, guys? Good to see you, man. Yeah, we just got here like 10 minutes ago. Nice. Got, like, just in time. Yeah, where's yeah, where's the rest of the party? They were parking. Nice, yeah, parking sucked here. Yeah, what's to do with the van, dude? We, we paid $45 to park it somewhere. In the underground? Yeah. You can't even fit in the underground, dude. Oh, oh you can't even no. Fit. So there's like legit, like, no nowhere spots, to park, dude. yeah. But 40 bucks for all day, decent. Yeah. All right, so what do we got? What do we got? Here. You probably brought the best stuff here. Uh, I, actually, I, I had some I had some uh, Concord grapes yeah. with with the seeds. They're so spicy. If you if you don't eat the seeds, they're pretty good there. Concord grapes with the seeds. Yeah. Where are those at? They're in a bag in the middle over here. You got you got to check them out. Dude, this mango looks tired. Yeah, last night was insane. I can't believe you guys got home so late. Dude, we got pulled over as soon as we left, dude. Pulled over? Yeah, Jacob ran, like, we ran two red lights, but we, it, we didn't run them. We turned right on red, and you can't do that in New York City. No, dude. And so, 
<laughs> like we ran two of them back to back and the police officers were so like strict but as soon as he gave him his Canadian license they're like oh okay like just don't do it again and then they like they they were like where are y'all going and we told them like oh y'all are going the wrong way y'all need to like go around this block and then take this turn instead so like they actually saved us like 15 minutes which was crazy because we broke the law. We got Ted Carr documenting this shit, the Fruit Luck from the beginning. Fruit Luck, Fruit Luck, Fruit Luck, <laughs> NYC, Woodstock Fruit Festival for everyone all the time. <laughs> I did start this event. You know, I, I may have and uh, dare to say I coined the phrase Fruit Luck. Damn. <laughs> fruit Luck. <laughs> BYOB, bring your own bananas, fool. Got a yeah, he got it's like a spaceship. Oh no, it was on his wrist. It was like a spaceship with a peach. Yeah. Like beam me beam me up the thing. So that was really fun. Yeah. yeah was great. And then some people got like little tiny tattoos. We're in the center of the universe. The center of the USA. Cent Central Park. Sick man. And why why are we all gathered here? Because um we wanted to stand out and like send a message but we just look like any other crowd because I walked up to the wrong crowd at first so I'm like wait a minute there's no fruit here I dude oh my it's God. insane bro really good man ah! oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> holy this is a tent for the tent. Keep on so good. <laughs> this is a mad town tent dude yeah mad yeah. dude <laughs> this is a happy town tent bro yeah bro I want good a melons and sugar cups Bro. Oh my! I don't want to and that's like probably like the the. Told me to. Yo yo. Try this bite. Oh my god. <laughs> you gave me the orange one. <laughs> oh shit! It's like it's like it's so good that you don't even need to eat a lot. I mean, it just satisfies you so early. You can share it with people, bro. This was free, you bringing back that papaya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Epic. The quality difference is huge, eh? Papaya. I'm really good. ticklish, so. Yeah, where'd you get that? Oh, one, <laughs> shit! City fresh, bro. Oh my god. City freaking fresh. <laughs> In the middle of Queens, New like, York, yeah, bro. Yeah, like the Kmart. Kmart of New York, bro. <laughs> I'm Janelle, I am 27, and I came to the Woodstock Fruit Festival to connect with like-minded people, have fun in nature, eating amazing, healthy, raw vegan foods. I came to the Woodstock Fruit Festival for my sixth year. It's my favorite place to go to every year to see all of my friends from all over the world and have a blast with them for a full week of fruit and fun and connection and all the activities, it's so much fun and it's my favorite part of the year. This festival literally changed my entire life, hands down. Every single thing that has happened in my life for the past six years has been because of a connection or somebody that I know or hearing about a place or hearing about a special event because of the festival and because of making the connections I've made. I wouldn't have moved to Hawaii, I wouldn't have done this fast I've done, I wouldn't have traveled to Colorado and like just there's so many things that have happened from it and it's all from this community and this incredible life at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Um, in my dream I was at a fig tree and it was awesome it had just rained and these figs like that were on the tree grew like triple in size like they were big nice figs now they were tiger stripe figs and they were just the sweetest juiciest most amazing figs and I'm picking them off the tree oh, and I'm eating them and they're delicious and then all of a sudden like instead of figs they were strawberries growing on a fig tree and I grab one off and there's these beautiful big plump red strawberries and they're as sweet as like the sweetest fig I've ever had but they taste like strawberries and uh, oh my gosh it was so amazing I woke up this morning Ted said something and I like vividly remembered my dream in that moment like eating these delicious fruits. <laughs> I'm ready to have my dream come true bro. If it's the same thing I had, one of the best things I've had. Someone had some fire things.
looks like it was. <laughs> That's a dream, bro. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Literally my dream, bro. It was that's literally the experience. <laughs> You gonna get in this photo, Teddy Car? You gonna get on this big photo, this big fruit luck photo, huh? On the real. <laughs> we, we, ain't, we ain't trying to mess with you. <laughs> and this is some this is some good healthy food in there, bro. All right. You eat healthy, you feel healthy, you do great. Yes, sir, no doubt about that. Thank you. Straight for it, I'm telling I you. I always find always. one straight that is for right. It. Dang. What just happened? Yo, I just I just met this really cool per cool dude, you know, like saw him and he was going for the mixed nut stuff and I was like, yo, are you going for the, the cashews or the or the almonds? And he was like, no nah, man, I had 
almonds and oats. oats for breakfast and I was like word you vegan he was like sort of but like you know I eat fish and shit but like I'm getting away from that and just getting to the straight like raw fruits and vegetables you know it's like fruits and vegetables like <laughs> you know I forget what he said but it was cool man I was just like dude what's up like you, you ever heard of the Woodstock Fruit Festival he was like nah man nah but yo yo check out my Instagram and like pulled out his phone like whipped out his Instagram scrolling through it and like just tons of plant foods and like mangoes and just like awesome stuff and I was like yo add me and we just connected you know yo it's, it's Gustavin Deem Gustav this is the homie we just saw follow follow him no, no, uh, oh, no, yeah, yeah, look look okay. juice you can follow juice tologist nutritionist herbalist wow man that's the kind of connections bro show me yeah, you can, you can hit mangoes stuff yeah yeah mangoes <laughs> mangoes and gone Gustav shout out to Gustav man is this the guy we just <laughs> met? <laughs> yeah, he was like fish and shit, you know? I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, but I'm, I'm getting off that. I was like, I know you are, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he is. Yeah. If you were to get anything here, what would you get and why? Pasteurized coconut water? You get the pasteurized coconut water, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, AJ. Yeah, I like some AJ, dude. AJ's great. Yeah. I, do, I do well on AJ. Coconut this, water. This, this AJ is delicious, too. It's, it's in the glass, too? I mean, you can, you can that's good yes. quality stuff. Oh yeah, well look, oh, this, dude. Is, this is raw. Was uh, uh, that? It's cold pressed. Oh yeah, that's legit. Oh, dude. watch that. Oh, yeah, that's legit. Yeah, that's the that's the healthiest. That's the stuff, bro. Yeah. That's what you live on. That's the magic. Dude, this one looks good. This is it. Wow. Uh, lemon pineapple chia coconut water. I wonder how much this costs, right? Pure watermelon juice, uh, 16 ounces. This is ridiculous. Well, you, you can get two gallons that's of watermelon exactly. juice from one watermelon. No, not freight entrance. I'm very quickly, park, Jeeva. open 24 hours. Okay. You see it? There's a park. Woo! Driving here is challenge, challenging. Hey. Yeah. Hola. What? No, Why not, man? Can't fit up here. Can't fit? Where, where should we go? Where should, where, where should we go? Next, try next one. I think it's taller than this. Yeah, man? Alright, bless up. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do a beat. Let's do a beat. So it's like. Okay. No, nah, dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I got the goods, bro. You, you wanna hear? You wanna hear? Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> feel it, just feel it. Like, tap on it. <laughs> tap on this, Ted. Ted, just tap on it. It vibrates. Like, like, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, it reverbs. Yeah, bro. Boom. Boom, boom. So.
for me, it's just climbing down. Down yeah, climbing sucks. Yeah, because we're not sucks. used to it. <laughs> sucks. Because why? Because I, I climb up, and then I just jump down with the harness. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is mine! Really? I can't wear it? It's beautiful, I love it. It's so pretty. It's really beautiful. Oh, it's a moon rock. Moonstone. Hello, bonjour. Hey, buongiorno. Where are we now? Se second meal of the day. Where, where are we? Go, Mama! Somewhere upstate New York. Yeah! You're still in New York? Yeah, we're close to the festival. Still? Still. We, we've been driving for two days. <laughs> I know. And what are we doing here? We're just mm. having a second meal of the day? Yeah, picnic. And before crossing the lines. Yeah. This is so good. Going to Montreal. Mama, taste it. It's like. Mmm. Oh, crunchy. Mmm. <laughs> Merci. Oh. How has the road trip been for you? Super great. I love it. <laughs> mm. For Sarah, are you driving so much? Yeah, I could drive. Yeah, mm -hmm. but easy. Like, I don't feel bored, tired. Mm -hmm. Good music, good people, yeah. good fruit. Cool. Good to go. Semi fruit. Best, best place to get fruit, you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Pourquoi? Cause you're gonna, you're gonna see. Expecting this, this is insane. We're leaving. We're leaving. You got enough food, Mama? I don't know. What do you think? Enough food to last all week. All week. Only seventy dollars. Canada. That's like. That's like Ten bucks a day. She wrote oh, yeah. one tag that said like how I got hooked on porn or something. I was like, okay, I like these vegans. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you you run a fruit shop here, Eddie, and it's Tracy and Mick. And Tracy comes here all the time mm -hmm. to buy persimmons. Why does she keep coming to you? You think? Because we're cheap. The Chinese are cheap. <laughs> I buy cheap. <laughs> I sell cheap. Is it just cheap crap though? Or is it quality? No, everything here is good. I taste everything. I buy everything in bulk, so I'm able to sell everything very, very cheap. Cool. And there's always people here. How, always. how much is it for some persimmons? Not sure yet. I'm thinking a dollar. A dollar for a pack. A dollar for a pack? And how many come in a pack? Four. Four. Four in a pack. So 25 cents a persimmon. Cheap. That's really? like wow. that's like how you uh, maintain the fruitarian lifestyle. <laughs> People say it's so expensive to eat raw foods. Yeah. Come to this guy. <laughs> Get your persimmons. Cool. Vegans, they all look good. It's true. I'm looking at the four of you. All look good. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. If I was into guys, look at these two guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like just taking the seeds. Mm. Mm. Crunching on them? Crunching on them, man. Yeah, just crunching on the seeds. These taste good. 
three. Mmm, crunchy, crunchy, delicious. Do you think this is very ethical though? What are seeds meant for, mate? Planting and growing into new plants. Yeah, man, I, I agree. You should always take some seeds from the fruit you're eating. You just go plant it. Well, I suppose here, knowing that they're not going to be planted, right? That's, that's that what I was thinking. Trash, that's what I was thinking. You're better off turning them into your own nutrients. No, check this out. I take this one. You got to offset your ethical footprint, right? You got to be in balance with the universe. So you take the, the one, the best, most mature seed. And even if normally you would go throw away your melons, you take the one best seed and you go plant it outside, anywhere, in the, in the grass of the park, wherever, man. Even if it doesn't grow into a seed, it'll still nutrify the soil, right? Exactly, man. And that's, that's, that's the thing. It's, it's like it's forming a habit, too. So when you do end up in that location, where things will grow, that you're already used to going and planting your seed, you know, in the sun, in the beautiful ground. And you like, you put it in your mouth and give it some love. Give it some of your DNA, bro. Mm hmm. Mm. Vibrationally merge. Mm. You take it and you say, Thank you so much for all you've given me. Now it's my turn to give back. You make a nice little hole underneath the grass. And Let me you spit just... on it first, dude. Yeah, man. It's right there. Oh, as it falls in. And just like a quarter inch deep. And you say, oh, we love you. We love you. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Check it. Yo, this is something that I wrote yesterday on the way to Montreal from Toronto. Oh. Yo, <laughs> packed up and ready to go. Circumnavigate the globe. Every okay, step I, I take, feeling the flow. Every breath I take, grateful for Mo. Straight and narrow, I'm walking this road. Me on my goals. Got my dream team rolling with pros. Never doubt, never had to suppose. Only out on the route to the gold. Man, I've been bringing free of the most. It's time for me to take control. I plant a seed and watch it grow. What I reap is what I sow. Jumping some portals, feeling immortal. Yo, all this fruit's making me glow. What I'm doing is for the soul. Elevate and get praise for the load. If you ain't in line with your own, probably not gonna do what I'm told. Everywhere on this earth is my home. Behold how it feels to be whole. Yeah. Yeah. No. Bro, how come you're playing with the hand way up there? Why not back there? Huh? Why don't you play back there? Oh, why that? I don't play like this? Yeah. Alright, I can try. Well, why, why don't you? Alright, good work. <laughs> because my arm is broken. I just broke it like two months ago. Ah. It's pretty fresh. But I'm happy because now I can play. Before I was like, <laughs> I had to play like this. <laughs> and so I was like, oh yeah. But now I can play a little better. <laughs> what song you can play today now? It's songs from um, Green Day. It's a good riddance. Time of your life. I like it. It's pretty much the only song I can play <laughs> because I'm stuck there. So that's how it goes.
Unpredictable. 